Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan as well as Quality Business Consultant. And what I'd like to do today is to introduce introduce you all to my beginner's guide to financial analysis for Ford, Ford Motor 2021. So the way the video is going to play out is first and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and give you all a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do and why I do it. After that, then I'm going to go ahead and introduce you all to the three different components of my beginner's guide to, fin to financial analysis for Ford 2021, uh, specifically the income statement summary, the balance sheet summary, and then the financial ratio section of the beginner's guide. So let's go ahead without further ado. Actually, at the end of the video, I'll then also provide you all with a link if you're interested in purchasing the beginner's guide. And just to give you all a hint, that link is right here. So let's go ahead and zip through this little PowerPoint presentation that I've got designed to introduce you all to the beginner's guide for Ford, Ford Motor 2021. All right, so as promised, a little bit about me. Again, Paul Borowski, MBA, doctoral candidate, as well as a uh, the author of The Beginner's Guide to Financial Analysis for Ford 2021. I write probably about 15 to 25 different beginner's guides as well as financial reports for various companies um, for the last five years. So like I said, I do about 15 to 25 of these reports yearly for the last five years. So I do have some experience in analyzing public companies such as Ford. I am also the author of The Beginner's Guide to Understanding Financial Statements and Financial Ratios. So check me out on Amazon.com. And then finally, I am an adjunct professor and subject matter expert in both business and finance. So I do have some academics as well as some real world teaching experience backing up my thoughts and ideas for my reports and beginner's guides. All right, enough about me. Let's go ahead and introduce the star of the show, which is Ford Motor 2021 Beginner's Guide. So in the Ford Motors 2021 Beginner's Guide to Financial Analysis, I do break it into three categories. The first category, like I um, said just a few minutes ago, is the income statement summary. And then I go into the balance sheet summary. And then I, fi I finish off the, re the beginner's guide with the financial ratios, various financial ratios. So let me go ahead and show you what's in, um, how it's structured. So the beginner's guide starts off with the, uh, the beginner's guide some income statement summary section starts off with a summarize starts with starts off with Ford's motor summarized income statement for the last five years. So what I did is I went out did a little bit of research. Um, I collected Ford's 10Ks for the last five years, took a look at their income statement and I summarized it and put it into my financial model. And here is the findings for the summary of their income statement for the last five years. Then what I do is I go ahead and I've um, broken down important line items from the income statement, um, for example, revenues. I, and then I'll, what I'll do is I will go ahead and define what revenues means. I'll give it to you in layman's terms. And then finally, I'll give you some analysis tips as to what to look for when analyzing that specific line item. The next section, the second section, is the summary balance sheet. So again, what I did, went out, found a 10Ks for Ford, Ford Motor, summarized the balance sheet for the last five years, and I put it into my financial model. And here is an example of the Ford summary for the last five years. And then what I did is for the important line items that I found important, I went ahead and described the line item, told you what it means. I gave it to you in layman's terms. And then again, I also offer you some tips for the analysis when analyzing that specific line item. The third category, which is uh, one, pretty in-depth, is the financial ratio. So I take a little bit of a different approach for the Ford Motor financial ratios. In, in this section, I went ahead and I classified various ratios into liquidity ratios, asset ratios, profitability ratios, and then debt ratios. I then, in each one of the categories, I, I listed several um, several different ratios um, w that are, are aligned with those various categories. So once I was done I, um, putting those different ca um, financial ratios in the categories, I then go ahead and analyze each one of the categories. For example, liquidity ratios. Um, and starting that and starting that category, I'll go ahead and, and I listed several ratios. For example, current ratio, cash ratio, quick ratio, net working capital. And then I summarized the formulas that I used to calculate each one of the ratios. And then I also provide you with a summary 
of the various ratios. For example, Ford Motors current ratio for the last five years would be right here, cash ratio right here, and so on. I continue into this um, section and I'll identify important, um, important ratios for each one of the categories. I'll then define what that ratio means. I'll give you the formula again. And then I'll give you in layman's terms what that what that um, what that f um, ratio is what what the meaning behind that ratio is. I'll give it to you in layman's terms, and then I'll give you some analysis tips as to uh, you know what you can um, some analysis tips to use for analyzing that specific ratio. And then finally, um, to end out the um, each one of the ratios, I'll go ahead and give you the. Uh, for the calculations that I used for the ratio, for example, current assets divided by current liabilities is equal to current um, the current ratio. And then I'll show you the numbers that I use for the current assets, numbers that I use for the current liabilities, and the results for each one of the ratios. All right, so hopefully this information was helpful. And if you think this guide is going to be beneficial to your needs, then go ahead and check out my website right here. And yeah, so that's the magic trick. Hopefully this information was helpful. And as always, uh, have a great day. Thank you.